Nang matalo ang pambato ng Pilipinas na si Marlon Tapales kontra sa The Monster ng Japan na si Naoya Inoue ay tuluyan ang nawala ng kasalukuyang world champion, ang mga Pilipino. Subalit isang Pinoy ang nabigyan ng magandang pagkakataon upang muling magdala ng kampiyonato para sa ating bansa. Ito ay ang tubong Dabaw del Norte na tinaguri ang The Pretty Boy ng Philippine Boxing na si Jerwin Angkahas. Haharapin ito ang nakababatang kapatid ng The Monster ng Japan na si Takuma Inoue. Ito ay ang pagdepensa ni Takuma Inoue sa kanyang WBA World Bantamweight title. Ang malaking tanong ngayon ay kung gaano kalaki ang tsansa na matatalo ni Pretty Boy Jerry ng Kahas ang Japanese fighter na ito. Kaya naman, ito ay ating isa-isahin sa video ito. Ngunit bago tayo magpatuloy ay inaanyayahan kitang mag-subscribe at pindutin ang notification bell upang palagi kang manotify sa mga bago nating video. Kung experience ang pagbabasihan ay lamang na lamang dito ang ating pambato na katulad ng nakikita nyo ay halos kalahati pa lamang ng professional fight ni Angkahas ang nagawa ni Takuma at ang lahat pa ng ito ay ginanap lamang sa home country nito. Dagdag pa dito si Pretty Boy Angkahas ay nagtataglay ng mataas na knockout percentage ratio. Samantalang si Takuma Inoue naman ay aapat pa lamang ang knockout victories nito. Kung usapang height at reach naman ay malaki din ang lamang ni Pretty Boy sapagkat ito ay mayroong 5 foot and 6 inches o 168 cm na tangkad at 68 and 1 half inches naman o 169 cm na reach o haba ng mga braso. Habang si Takuma Inoue naman ay mayroon lamang 5 foot 4.5 inches na height at 64 inches o 163 cm na haba ng mga braso. Pagdating naman sa fighting style ay dito magkakaalaman. Si Angkahas ay kilala sa pagkakaroon ng good hand speed, footwork at power punching ability nito dahil ito sa mga pamatay na training nito sa tuwing ito ay maghahanda sa mga laban. Samantalang si Takuma Inoue naman ay kilala sa pagkakaroon ng technical skills, counter punching ability at mga solidong depensa nito. Dagdag pa dito ang pamatay na routine nito sa training kasama ng kuya nito na si Naoya. Sa laban na ito dahil sa lamang sa reach at height si Angkahas ay maaaring in-fight o close distance fighting style ang gagawin dito ni Takuma. Subalit maaari naman itong salubungin ni Angkahas na mga body blow at uppercut sa tuwing si Takuma ay papasok sa kanya Subalit ang nakikita ko na maaaring maging problema ni Angka sa laban na ito ay ang pag-akyat nito ng timbang sapagkat ito pa lamang ang pangalawang beses na lalaban si Angkahas sa mas mabigat na timbang Kaya naman maaaring magbago ang galaw nito pagdating ng mismong laban kumpara kay Takuma Inoue na matagal nang namamalagi sa division na ito Sa kanilang magaganap na laban ay diniklarang plus 250 underdog ang Pinoy na ang ibig sabihin kapag ikaw ay tumaya ng 100 kay Angkahas ikaw ay mananalo ng 250 at kung sila naman ay tataya ng 250 kay Takuma ang kanilang taya ay tatama lamang ng 100 kapag panalo si Takuma dahil dito nagmistulang mahina ang ating pambato subalit kung ako ang tatanungin para sa akin ay ayos lamang ito upang hindi rin ma-pressure ang ating pambato sa magaganap na laban sapagkat mas mahirap imit ang expectation kesa sa realidad para sa akin sigurado namang mataas ang tsansa na manalo dito si Angkahas ngayon naman ay balikan natin ang kanilang pinakahuling laban kung saan pwedeng maging basihan ng kanilang performance sa magaganap na mismong sagupaan. Ito ay ang laban ni Jerwin kontra kay Wilner Soto kung saan panalo si Jerwin via technical knockout sa round 5. Ang laban ay ginanap sa Bansang Amerika. Into this one. Look, you've seen Jerwin and Kehas many times. The Southpaw promoted by Manny Pacquiao. He's Fernando Martinez. Those were, it is part of a plan for Ankehas, according to Manny. And the white and red trunks, his opponent. I've been to Colombia uh, many times in the last 10 new, significantly easier to time. Set over the past year by Marlon Tapalas to lose. Boy, he is roasting the ribs of Soto. Kaihas currently ranked number 8 in the WBA at 118 pounds. Yeah, you can see here on Kaihas, even when he can land, which is infrequent already. Now this continues to be a one-sided shootout here for Ankaihas, picking apart mostly the body some good... 
Pacquiao has extended his reach. Still, would you call him the Philippines? Yeah, I think he's definitely, like, in terms of fighting big name up opponents, he's clearly retired. Joe Arroyo, Jamie Conlon, Israel Gonzalez. Great job in using the first set of punches to close the distance and then landing at Absol. When you have Southpaw versus Orthodox, it really gives you a sense of position, footwork. A constant battle for outside foot. Jab, but. I'm just jinxing all of the uh, fights in the best way, I suppose. Big left cross yeah. from Ankayas. Down goes Soto in round four. It felt him the standing eight count here and continuing the action. It might yeah, not last gonna, much longer. They're, they're going to stop this. Big left hands from Ankayas. Goes to the body. Soto fighting back. Looked like he was going to... Oof. Big left hand. May have been left. Well, maybe left. Man. Test younger fighters on the way up. This is not a necessarily that oh, big left. He's been Ruby. looking for that counter too. He's been looking for it. And here comes the head hunting as Nkaihas en ex enters finishing mode. Clinch to slow down the action, but it seems like Nkaihas can hit him with whatever he wants to. Brilliant lead uppercut there. Love that. Also, I just gotta say. On Cajas. Three against the ropes away from a stoppage, given how clean and Cajas has been able to land with these big shots. Matched, but he, you can tell he's been in the ring <laughs> a few times, right? He's got a few way, oh, was that a low blow? What was that? He kind of bent over there and then the referee didn't jump into in area to Cajas, maybe a little bit of payback, but this is not slowing. Sa pagsapit ng round 5 ay tuluyan ang hindi kinaya ni Soto ang mga body shot na pamatay na pinapakawala ni Jerwin. Napaluhod na lamang ito at sa katinigil na ng referee ang laban. Kung ako ang tatanungin kung ang parehong body shot na ito ang tatama kay Takuma Inoue ay siguradong maaari ding bumagsak si Takuma Inoue dito. Ngayon ay Panawarin naman natin ang susunod na laban. Ito ay ang huling laban ni Takuma Inoue kontra sa pambando ng Venezuela na si Liborio Solis. Si Solis ay may mataas na record na 35 win, 18 via knockouts, 7 losses at 1 draw. Kung saan dito nakuha ni Takuma ang kanyang WBA World Bantamweight title. punch in the first 30 seconds and not much enough sometimes a lead off with it count with definitely got some more pep in his step now coming in the second yeah, yeah there's a right hand to the fight mixing it up between that jam and that right hand and that's what's listening to the right hand there's the champ big work so There's a right hand counter. I think that right, so at least want to fire that right hand because you know, this is again more. Oh, nice. They both kind of. What he's doing though is making in a way play the role of counter. It's the stuff we're looking for from in a way. Good, yeah, nice counter. Must be good hands for Age four after watching his brother and father train. Oh, nice little body shot from Solis again. Oh, nice little short uppercut. Good combination by Solis. Oh. He's got in a way ducking okay. that good uppercut by Solis. Right now, I see a faint. See a faint. No. One, one. Maybe she should try to double on that jab at times to get him find his way back in. What's going on? But again, I felt like he did win that round. And when he does let his hands go, he hit in a way jab. Good yeah, nice jab. <laughs> Buries the straight right hand on the head of Inaway. He worked hard. Pass four rounds. Now 
one came out fast. Final seconds of this fifth round. Oh, yep, with the elbow. He knew it, didn't he? Yeah, he called it. Again with the right hand, and the way he says, Come and get me. And Solis is yeah, doing that. And he came. <laughs> Again, Solis being aggressive in the corner. Shoulder, throwing another right hand. But this is where, in a way, it doesn't need to be yet. He needs to be, he needs to get back in the center. Of the way. Nice little two plus combination from in a way. Now he's in a way playing counter again. That's kind of. We're sticking and moving. Keep it in, in the There's center of the ring. Yeah, from in a way. Another jab, one. Jab. A right hand. Ooh, nice good pop. So then that right hand. Bam. Nice counter. And yeah, slip up the good body shot from Solis. <laughs> Solidly to the face. And here's that away back moving and moving nicely. But Solis won't let him out of that corner. Good body shot. Snug in a right Up jab. 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 Body shot. Body it's nice. He's a little tense up and he'll load it up. Your own Taraji. The WBC and WBA. Round 11. A good little body attack. Jab. Anyway. Final seconds of the round. Final seconds of the round. Away. Using it like a, like a jam. Oh, oh nice one. Head. Left hand, really. Oh, right hand by in a way. Anong masasabi ninyo sa laban ni Takuma Kabayan? Magagawa bang talunin ito ni Jerwin ng kahas by a knockout? O muling darating sa mga kamay ng hurado ang pagpapasya sa laban? I-comment muna dyan at pag-usapan natin sa comment section. Kung nabitin ka naman sa ating video ay inaanyayang kitang mag-subscribe at pindutin ang bell button para updated ka sa mga kalidad na boxing topic. Maraming salamat po!